show, fellas. So I want to show you how I make Italian sausage, cured Italian sausage. Um, it's a pretty simple recipe and um, it's really good. Um, what you've got to do is start with some boneless pork. You can use shoulder or, or leg. And what you're going to need is 800 grams, I'll put the recipe here, 800 grams of pork meat, 200 grams of fat, pork fat, with the skin off. Uh, you can use pork belly and take the skin off, or you can just buy a shoulder roast that's got all the fat on it like this. And um, then you're going to need 28 grams of salt and uh, two tablespoons of paprika. I put in uh, about a tablespoon and a half of peppercorns. You can grind them up or um, or you can use um, already made like pre-powdered pepper. Garlic powder, I like that, it's not really traditional but adding it anyway. Fennel seeds and uh, about a tablespoon of chili flakes. Add more if you like it hot. And um, you're gonna need some butcher's twine as well, which you can get from butcher shop or Coles or whatever. And uh, that's about it. So basically what we're gonna do is cube the meat up into one centimeter cubes. Uh, make sure the fat is cubed up with the same sort of size as well. Uh, we're gonna mix all the herbs in and the salt and then gonna cover it up, leave it for 24 hours in the fridge and then we'll come back and stuff it into the casings. So I'll start cutting now and um, see how we go. So I'm about halfway through cutting the meat. <clears throat> got plenty of fat in it, about 20%. And um, got a bucket load of meat and I'm still going. I'll finish that off. Um, while that's going, um, I took the skin off that fat and uh, waste not, want not. So just making some uh, pork crackle. Check that out, yeah boy. Uh, so this is two kilos of meat <clears throat> um, Each one of these shoulder roasts that I've got are two kilos. I've got two of them, but for the purpose of showing you So two kilos of meat will need 56 grams of salt and um, Then add your herbs and don't forget. Yeah, so you want each one of your little pieces No bigger than the size of the end of your finger basically That's how how big you want it so to that, I'll add the salt, chili flakes, paprika, garlic powder, black peppercorns, and a bit of fennel, and um, be mixing that all up.
So um, that's two kilos of meat. I'm gonna do the other two and then refrigerate it overnight. And then tomorrow we'll come back and stuff the casings. Oh, and don't forget to take your pork crackle out of the oven. Oh, so good. So uh, I've got this meat grinder here, uh, which has all the sausage attachments on it. Um, you don't really need something as fancy as this. You can just use a funnel, a funnel that's got like a wide, uh, wide mouth on the top of it. Just to f and you just feed the meat in into the and just put the sausage casing over the top and then feed the meat into the funnel side. And um, some people push it just with a wooden dowel or a stick. But um, today gonna be a bit lazy let me just set this up this is hog casing so that's um actually pigs intestine I like them because they come out of wider diameter they they really stretch a lot as a stomach would and um, you can get a nicer fatter sausage with them but it's up to you I want to do a bit of both I think Of course, we've got our, our meat and fat mix. It's been marinating in the fridge for 24 hours. And um, it's looking really good. It's time to get it into the sausage casing. So the last bit, the last thing you want to do is find little gaps of air in the sausage and just pin prick them with a normal old pin. You can't really go overboard in this process. It's the most important bit so that um, you get all of the air, particularly around the ends of the sausage as well. And then any any in the middle, you've got to get squeeze them out, pretty much. And also um, making sure that your hands are really clean.
So I'm out in the back shed here and um, I've got my Biltong tent set up. Uh, you can see all the spices and stuff from the last batch I did. But anyway, um, so you've got to keep your sausage at 13 degrees Celsius, as close as you can get to that, for three weeks. Some people hang them in the attic or um, in the pantry or even you buy an old like purpose fridge uh, purposely for meat pretty much and you can just hang them inside that and just set it at 13 but um, there's there's plenty of ways to do it but I just got a little fan here just to keep the air going um, I only use this for meat so I know it's sterile um, it's just an old old grow tent pretty much you can buy these cheap because everyone sells them on Gumtree and that um, and yeah it's just a sterile environment no, no insects can get in and um, just keeps the air flowing and out in the shed are here it stays at um, 13 degrees, 14, 15. That's in uh, sort of July, August um, uh, in Western Australia. And yeah, just hang them out here as long as the air keeps flowing and that. And um, you've kept uh, pricked all the air bubbles out of your sausages. They'll cure up nicely and no bugs will get in the sausage. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. So I'll come back in three weeks. I'll show you the final result. And so I'm back. This is um, after three weeks. They look really good. Let's uh, cut one up and give it a try. Pretty good. Good. Really fucking good. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.